Last week when I was preparing to do my voiceover, I had to thought to myself how voiceovers are sort of like podcasts. Later that day, maybe even night, I was watching another artist's YouTube channel. She was doing a voiceover and made the same reference. It's right, and it seems fitting when you have a topic to talk about and your film is showing your process. This week, I was contacted by a friend, technically a customer, who let me know of an art market that's coming to town just before Mother's Day, you know, going into summer type. She was plugging me in to, to get me on the books to be one of the local artists at the art market. I thanked her for reaching out. I later let thoughts run through my head for a day of how I don't have time to prepare, I don't have enough work that would be cohesive to display. Is this even worth my time? You know, like getting everything together, going there on that day, setting up, you know, working the event and then all the takedown and stuff. That was my thought process of, is it worth my time? So blah, 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 and pretty much had to talk myself out of it. Oh, and never mind, my goal this year was to film and edit and post consistently on YouTube. I thought, there's no way I can do both. I'd not mention it to anyone. I prayed over it, and I conversed with God. The next morning, I met my daughter with all of this kind of tucked in the back of my mind. So I met my daughter at the doctor's office for my grandson's checkup. There was no time to mention it to her, which I wanted to, because we usually talk about everything. So when we got done at the appointment, I continued on with my day, still convinced I didn't need to do it, until something came over me and said, you are being ridiculous. That something was the Lord speaking over me. What do you have to lose? I ended up in that moment calling my daughter as she was driving out of town with her co-workers, which I usually don't talk to her when she has other people in the car, just, you know, out of respect for them and us and what have you. So anyway, I said, look, I, I need to tell you a couple things, and then also I want to see, you know, how uh, your son did get into daycare. Well, so I tell her about... Uh, the market to basically see if she could help me that day of the market like help set up and work the event and that kind of thing of course she said yes I've been wanting to shape up my art I've always wanted to do something just like an art market but haven't ever gone after it I'd say it came to me the customer who told me about the market because basically her job has a connection to the market and when they started working on it she thought of me immediately she had approached me during the time I was creating daily abstracts in a journal while I was healing from my melanoma surgery she contacted me because through seeing those dailies that I was posting on Instagram she reached out to uh, purchase one let me just say this. It takes only one person to believe in your work to help get you in front of lots of eyes. Only one person to believe in you. Only one person to, to believe in your gift, your skill, your talent. I may not sell a thing at this market which wouldn't be the first time I put my work in and didn't sell a thing. And I'm not talking about in markets or galleries or whatever. I'm talking um, even years ago I did uh, some of my photography framed and put it in a coffee shop. Not the first thing sold. I've written two books. They've sold. They could have done better. And when you put that amount of work in something and don't see any return, you do kind of wrestle with yourself. And I've created other 
series of artwork and not the first thing sold. I'm happy to say that I know participating in this art market is what I'm supposed to do in this season of my art. May you be encouraged by this and evaluate your own journey, be in art or something else. Know that what you are doing isn't going to line up with what others are doing. Fine tune your journey and keep open hands to the possibilities. I know where you are is meant to be and where you are going is even bigger meant. There and now remember your impact. Your knowledge is the leadership for another. You are worthy of leading. I watched a video of Jessica Stanberry the other day. She was talking about playing it small and even mentioned how one time she was getting fit to go to Hawaii. So basically she was working out and building up for that trip. So think about that. When we have a plan, we start taking action. Her video resonated with me knowing I was preparing to play big by going to the market. I'm preparing, getting fit, shaping up my art. I don't typically watch Jessica's channel, but for some reason this year I have been. In another one of her recent videos, she mentioned a friend of mine from the No Small Creator group. I reached out to him to let him know, and he was so thankful. He had no idea that she mentioned his video. He and his wife were both YouTubers. The point of today's time in the studio was looking through previous work to see if I had enough to prepare for an art market. I stumbled across a few pieces or two. I just didn't like and I spent time trying to make something new out of something old. Do you ever do that? with your artwork or something else in your home or a meal. Well, let me just say this. One of those two pieces that I worked on to try to make something new out of it has come along better than the other one. Sometimes I can't stick to one thing in the studio. So as you can see, I'm all over the place today. It's just, it's just more fun that way for me. I worked on a few things hanging on the wall, adding yellow that needed just an extra punch, like an extra pop. So the yellow, uh, you know, kind of tied everything together. And then there's the face that I keep painting on. Well, if you remember back in a few videos, I used that piece of paper to drop uh, extra paint on it. I think it was the video where I was making the collage of hearts on that piece of cardboard. The title of that video was Hearts of Hearts Cardboard Art. I often do that like you know trying to salvage the extra paint that I can't get back into the tube or don't really have any other way of saving it. I um, you know just put it on there to make something else out of it and faces have been something that keeps popping up in my mind I wanted to create so one day passing the studio I popped in and sketched that little face with just a turquoise pencil that was laying there and I did it actually with my left hand and that's not my dominant hand and I don't have any idea I just decided to do it this was fun to keep adding paint to her though. After a while, I needed to take a break for lunch. So you'll see me creating lunch. I try to eat healthy or what I consider healthy. What's healthy to me may not be to you and may not be healthy enough. But remember what's healthy to one may not be for the next. I know diabetes, high blood pressure, and certain cancers run in my family, so I, for as long as I can remember, especially after my own health issues, have tried to take my food choices seriously. Now, do I still have fun and eat the cake? Yes, just not every day. The last few months I've really tried to shift 
a few things around in my diet, mainly for my age, being a woman, our health hormones change, and my, my particular doctors put me in the box of high-risk breast cancer due to my mother having it. Not fun. I've stressed myself about it, in which isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm shifting my thoughts back to healing thoughts, though. Trying to walk more in nature and enjoy moments that proven to keep my health to par this far. I do suffer from what I call PTSD from having liver cancer in my 20s and extra testing that they want to do for breast is blowing my mind, blowing my PTS up. You've heard me talk about having melanoma. That was hard after cancer free for 20 years. I'm still trying to heal from that and more testing for something else that may happen, I just can't. I don't share any of this to be negative or draw negative energy to the table. I do it from a positive, uplifting perspective to encourage you to take small steps for the betterment of your health. It seriously could start with a small walk in nature or creating an art journal and then implementing some things in your diet slowly. Let me share a fun, funny from last night. My daughter was dropping off my grandson for us to babysit. My husband was in the kitchen and something was sticking out of the kitchen drawer. He was like, what is this? I went over there and grabbed it from him and I tucked it back in the drawer and I told him to leave my stuff alone. Y'all, I come across so much stuff in my daily life and I tuck it away to carry to the art studio later. We recently had gone through a loved one's belongings and I guess he had in his mind like, what am I going to do with all of her stuff one day? It just goes to show not everybody gets our mindset, our thought process. They don't get our art and that's okay. I'd probably look in his stuff too and be like, why do you have this? It's been spring-like here the past week or so, and the pollen levels are extremely high. I think even in other places they are too, because my daughter was telling me about on the coast of like South Carolina or North Carolina, you could see the pollen on the edges of the beach. I'm in Mississippi if I haven't ever shared that with y'all. We wake up this morning and it is cool outside again course as the day has persisted on that it's warmed up. Well I'm gonna finish my time out in the studio on this day painting on that painting there on the canvas. You saw me working on that one while I did my cleaning video back at the first of the year. So you'll see me, uh, you know, do some of my process. And I got my pastel pencils out there. I had to go around there on the other side of my desk because if you remember, I had that blue one out whenever I created those uh, hearts on the cardboard, the hearts, two hearts uh, video. Anyway, I like to get a few little extra scribbles and stuff in here but as time goes on of course you know I don't show my whole entire process but just giving you a thought process of an overview I put all those markings on there and then as I went on and painted a lot of them got covered up which is fine it's just I have to get extra stuff out I can't just use paint I've got a scribble I've got to find the uh, you know, regular color pencils and make some markings. It just kind of helps my creative flow.
When I tell you I build layers on layers on layers, I'm serious. If y'all only knew how many layers were in this actual canvas. In fact, this morning, uh, the morning of that I'm doing this voiceover here, I went back to the studio and looked at how I left this canvas the other day to see, you know, its progress. And I thought to myself, man, at the amount of layers, but you know what, that's what makes my art and it's what makes me absolutely love it. I'm just not liking that piece, I'll be honest with you. So I, create, I painted a little more on it so you can see it's kind of changed some. I'm really liking some of the effects of it. And I got there towards the end and decided to put a little more pink on something. I couldn't get that paint out. Y'all have seen me struggle with that before. You know, I tried to go to the store the other day to pick up some more of that pink paint, but I was also trying to get some other things, and they didn't have what else I needed. And honey, I was not fisting standing in that line, so I just said I'll get that another day, or either have to order it online or something. I've enjoyed my time with you here today. I hope you've enjoyed this type of video with me spending time in the studio and just doing that little extra creative this that needs to prepare me to go to art market and I close out the end of my day there taking care of a few dishes in the kitchen and I, I'll go outdoors to take our walk in nature and show uh, you know sh and share a few spring mishaps with you. You have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. See you next Monday. Bye-bye.